up here and go this way. I think if I follow this, I can get to her. for interrupting my quest. Ride it upon yourself. Okay, so this way then. May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. I feel them near, flitting through the western woods like shafts of shadow in the sunlight. What could have brought them here, I wonder? The Tuatha do not trouble themselves with easy prey. If they prowl these woods, it is for worthy quarry. I find them so interesting, from their vestments to their odd habits and demeanors. Just yesterday I saw a monk from the Almain mission sneaking through the underbrush. Strange creatures you are. Strange, but glorious. All of us are at the mercy of the changing seasons, mortal and fey alike. If it is one's time to pass into the Great Cycle, then we must not protest. The passing is keeping with autumn, and is as natural as the eventual rebirth. I adore every sad soul in the village, even stubborn Herc with his tender heart, and drunken old Arnick. The widow fascinates me. She has no idea that her lover is dead. I watch them from my perch, hoping to learn the meaning behind their pursuits and passions. If I could, I would grant each of them an eternity. Alas, I cannot. Feyland? Yes, I've heard these words before, but do not understand their meaning. There are only Fey, and there is only land. I do find all main sentiments so charming. We are kin to the seasons and cycles of all life, to new life and perpetual growth. Mortals may view the warmth of the petals and smell the beauty of a newborn bud, but only Fae know the strength of the roots beneath the surface. I wandered the forest for many seasons, listening to lore stones of the great ballads. 
Before that, I dwelled in the gardens of Issa. I prefer the quiet of this village, the mirth of the witless. I cannot reveal much. The gardens are the jewel of the summer court, a wonder beheld by few mortals. It is located far east of here in a wood so thick it would devour all but those who knew its secrets. Do not pursue such mysteries, mortal. They are not for you. They contain memories, great moments, ideas, songs and inspirations. The Fae do not record their words in ink or on paper. Ink fades, paper crumbles. Lore stones mark where our kind has made a lasting impression, where the season slowed to take note of glory on a grand scale. Farewell. Okay, let's go back to the village and on the way there get as many of these remnants as I can <coughs> I don't know if what the face say about these stones is true but if it is well this is just too good to not save forever Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting now Lystrom doesn't know Artol and Artol is older and strange she could be mistaken for a fate weaver so when Lystrom came back to town here was Artol the oracular <laughs> I said to Lystrom I hear her readings are amazing you should go <laughs> my you should have seen it a rooster she said will change into a man and this man will become your lover he will provide for you and he will make you laugh and he will make your life exciting and easier but and this is something you can never forget he must never eat chicken <laughs> and once in a while he will need to peck at things on the ground and every morning at the break of dawn you'll hear a loud cry from him <laughs> <laughs> So, gossip in a joke. Uh, try this one. the new scepter real quick oops <laughs> at least the uh, what's it called the mana goes back up I think I need to go this way now. So this white thing is down here. Nothing, I guess. Wait, oh, it's on the other side <laughs> of this tree. So let's go check that out. Might be someone, someone to speak to or something. Let's see. Oh, just a jumping off point, I guess. There we go. Eight. 
take off. Okay, I got rid of some of the bandits anyway, so that's good. May have been the ones that attacked the Fae over here. I may want to speak to the guard or whoever that was down here. If I can find her again. Stop by here real quick. That's my next destination. What do you want? You there. Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. It was an early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alpha can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ender eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around the plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone. But I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it! It's the only way to keep us safe. They are the undying, the corrupted roots. Their existence is an abomination. Everything in Amalur exists for a particular reason, except for the Tuatha. They're not meant to be. Bandits, ruthless and well-organized, the Red Legion is reaping many rewards by preying on vulnerable Almain settlers traveling east. Long ago, these villains confined themselves to the coast, but recently they've moved inland to avoid the war. Now they're our problem. If you must know, my name is Nani Hanri, formerly the chief alchemist of Alistar. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? When the scholars in the tower ordered me to leave the grounds, I took refuge here. The Almain are a private people, keen to keep to themselves, like me. I fear for his life. Karth was gifted in a way that I've witnessed in only a select few. If the Red Legion has him, there's no telling of how he'll be treated. For years I dabbled in alchemy, healing, divination and transmutation. All of that seems frivolous now, what with the war looming over us. Now I spend my sleepless nights in search of a formula that will end such conflicts forever. 
I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Haven't you seen it? The Grim Tower to the West. Avoid its shadow if you can, because what transpires inside Alistar will benefit no one. I would know. The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Do you really think I'm able to part with anything, much less one of my finest mixtures? This is a place of research. There is no charity. Look at how expensive everything is. Goodbye. Okay, so that's... Use one of those up. Might be Irish based. So let's look at the exclamation point over here and see what that is going to say. Where is the order that Matharu has given us? I see no order in obstructing the truth. That is chaos. That is what the mission fears. Sister. Are we not lied to enough? We are at war. We sp Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Oddwood's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. The light of hope will leave you in shadow. Sister Zelda, not the Zelda I know. No, I... It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Matharu. I have undergone the ordination rites and am as legitimate as any monk. 